Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Splatoon. And now we're going to go into the final area. Find all of the end le levels to go into and then figure out what's next because we are basically at the end, so. Also, this place is really cool because it's got all this flying stuff everywhere and we have to actually... Like, normally everything's connected, but this is just actually just everything's floating. Which is cool. It's kind of got the, like, glowing stuff around the edges, which could be, like, the in-game lore for why stuff is flying. Also, in the background there, we can actually see Inkopolis from Octo Valley, so that's really cool. I want to have a close look at that when we actually get there. But for the moment, let's find the six more levels. It's interesting that there are only six levels in pretty much every world, except for the first one. Would have expected there to be more as we went further into each world, but it feels really balanced, being only six at a time. So, you can see that there's glowing stuff on the bottom of this, which would also help that the theory of in-game lore for things flying. But there's the first one. Let's find out what else is around. Is this here, which connects to something over there? But let me go this way, I guess. I can shoot from above if I miss anything up here. Anything there? Nope. Grow these sponges. There's that one. Two. Kind of wanted to hit that from here, but nope. I hit something. Cool. And it saved as well, so. All the good things, I guess. Let's go up here quickly. And go up some more. All the way up. Okay, hit that. That's all going down. So that's just a shortcut up here, I guess. Is there anything else up here? There's that one there. I think this is an access point to possibly the end. Yes. So this is goes to the end, once we have everything else. So let's jump down here. Shoot that one. I don't know how many I have. Hang on. I have four, okay. I can see on the gamepad where they are, so I can count them. Easily enough. Hit that one. That one goes back. So the other ones are probably more down than the rest. Possibly. Or, you know, like right here and here. So let's get that one and that one. And there we go. So I think the next one is 22. I'm pretty sure. So let's go to 22. Switch box shake up. The only con constant is change. Uh, for this one, we're probably going to want the upgrade to the burst bombs. I do want to get the other stuff, but I really don't have enough uh, fish eggs. Like, grinding through the whole game, you'd, like, you'd really have to grind to get all the th upgrades before the end, I think. Unless these last few levels in this world are just going to give us a ton. Which is possible, but anyway, let's go in. Oh my goodness, look at this place. Also, is that... that's an, the, uh, the Octarian symbol. Cool. This place is so cool. Look at this place. Like, those rocks up there look cool. It's just a beautiful game. Check out that switch! Okay, checked it out. It looks like a switch. Basically, we need to paint these, though, to activate them, and then they'll do different things. Mostly moving stuff, so... Just need to hit all of those that we can. Just need to make sure I'm not missing anything. But I think I can use burst bombs to actually be a more efficient with these. Hit hit by hitting them faster. Okay, now we have a choice of shield or ink zooka. So let's grab the ink zooka. Well the bubbler, but you know. I'm just gonna deal with these as they go. Looks like we have to fight a lot of enemies here. On these moving platforms. Which is a cool concept to me. Even though it's very sudden. But it's cool. Take you out. Hit that. Hit you. I love that it just moves everything into place. And like even the enemies spawning in like that is really cool. Let's activate that. We can see something going behind it, so we probably want to grab that before we leave. Just need to make sure we don't fall off the edge and don't die. Just like that. And then go back here. And there's the sea scroll. I'm not missing any of them apparently. Let's go in here. Okay, more enemies, let's go. Just need to be careful. Take 
Take you out. Take you out. Stuff switching around. You need to be careful. Might even be able to switch to bombs for this, although I could also just inksuka this, probably. Also, hello. What's that? Oh, it's just some balloons for some more fish eggs, which is good because we need those. We'll talk about this. Hmm. Huh? Where's the path? There is no path. What are we meant to do? Well, first of all... One, I, I really want to make this work. Nope, that was a mistake. That was a big mistake. It's fine. I just wanted to take them out faster, but anyway. Where's the path? It's right here. We just need to activate it. We just need to believe in the path. We just send you off the edge and it counts as a death. Or a kill, whatever. Hit that. There's just a lot of switches to hit. Just need to make sure I'm not missing any of them as well. There's one up there. So let's go up there and get that. What's oh, hello? Just gonna send you off flying. It's the easiest option. Hit that. And let's a go. So the final checkpoint? Although I think we already hit that. Also, that is a slosher thing? I can't remember what it's actually called. Uh oh. Oh, there's two of them. One of them is actually a platform as well. Like a Okay, so that one's got a platform on it, which has... And the other one's got the thing on it. But the key's down there, so let's go grab that carefully. Getting out of here as quick as possible. So now we need to get to that thing. I really can't remember what the uh, things are called. We, we only encountered them very shortly ago, so, so, so I should really remember these things. But anyway, that's the end, so let's go. From the depths of the sea we emerged long ago, seeking the light of the surface. In search of still greater lights, we now send the, this message, message into outer space. Sealed in a disc, perhaps one day, we will meet others like ourselves. So there we go. That's 22. Let's go. Man, that was a tough, but you really pulled through, Agent 3. Oh, thank you. They really like complimenting me. Spongy Observatory. Don't shrink, don't flinch. Okay, here we go. Remember this one being interesting, so let's see how this goes. Sponges. Uh, watch that they don't shrink suddenly on you. If you feel the sp sponge is full of ink, that it should be pretty easy peasy. Okay, but also there's enemies that are going to spawn in, like these Octo Stamps. They're going to try and shrink them, so... Excellent. I saw that. Carefully, it does it. That worked. But I want to go down here, I think. Because I could see this box here. Which is the sea scroll and I don't want to miss that. Also, I, I, I also like this color. I just like all the colors of the ink. It's just so good. Just all the color. Give me all the colors of the ink. Okay, just keep going. There's a lot of things in front of us that we're going to need to be careful of. Ink Zooka. Let's paint all that. Get rid of you. Try and get everything we possibly can. Before the time runs out. Almost. There we go. Yep, you've got the hang of this. Thank you. Just going to get all of these. Very nice. Slowly bring up those numbers. Oh, so that's a cool phone tower thing. Just want to point that out. Probably need to switch my bombs for a little bit. See how we can use them better. Whoa, watch out for that one. 
Oh, I will. Bombs incoming. Do that. Okay. Just gonna get onto safe ground first and then jump away carefully. Oh my goodness. Get the other one. Okay, we're good. Didn't it didn't manage to get out its next bomb, so we're good. Let's go. Also, what is that thing? <laughs> what, what is what is fine? Probably. Just need to be safe. Just need to be watch your step here. Thank you. If you feel the sponge is full of ink, it should be easy peasy. You already said that. How dare you? You said the first thing you already said. That's what I do all the time, so I can't really blame you. Get rid of you. Okay, here we go. Got a sponge here. They seem to like using diagonals a lot for some reason. Let me just jump to the end. And slide down probably. No, why didn't you go? What? 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 That's not fair. That should have worked, but it's fine. I'm not mad. I'm just annoyed. <laughs> Just gonna make sure I get all of this as much as possible. Okay, that should be good. Now to sink into it. There we go. That's th that really shouldn't have done that. Anyway, yippee, we found the zapfish. But first, we're gonna have to go down here. But <laughs> first looks like a couple of octolings here. I didn't even know you said that, but I somehow said the thing that you said. Another one. Can't really see you, but that's fine. Gonna get you, not bad at all, Agent 3. Okay, let's get to the end. And go. So there we go. The, the tradi traditional calamari shanty. Shanty of the Calamari, Calamari region, re region. Nowadays, this song and dance may as well be carved into the very DNA of all Inklings. It originated as a way to celebrate the sea and give thanks for its bounty. I don't actually know what this music says, but I, uh, it's, it's a thing. Well, maybe I do know what it is, but anyway. We're gonna leave that for the mo for the moment. Let's go to the next level, number twenty-four. Good work, good work. Pinwheel power plant. Slip through the defenses. Okay then. These spinny things are making me dizzy. Uh, press X to jump, dash jump, cross. Or ZL cross. Uh, I don't know why it says that anyway. I'm, I'm, I'm misreading and I'm misunderstanding or something. But anyway, let's try and get as many fish eggs as possible. Okay, that's a thing. But do I want this thing? Probably want this thing. Yep. It's just taking us over here. I don't know what the point, point of that was then. Anyway. Just keep going. Just need to not, not miss anything. That is a lot of enemies, but it's fine. We can deal with this. That's not gonna work, but it's fine. It's gonna scare that one off, apparently. Gonna get review. And you and you. Okay, I think that's everything here. That was a good use of the, the ink zuka. I nearly pushed myself off of that. That was almost a bad usage of the ink zuka. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. Also, what is this place? What is that thing? And it looks really cool, actually, with all this design. I spent a lot more time looking at the level than I probably need to. Okay, just go through. There's an Octo Trooper on top of that pinwheel. Oh, there is. Hello, Octo Trooper. Let me take you out. No sweat. Indeed. I want to get over here. That was close. Oh, the uh, sea scroll. Let's go. Okay. Checkpoint. Not the final checkpoint, but it is a checkpoint. Let me grab that. 
Arme. Curve here. Curve here. Oh, hello. Ah, uh, not good. We lost a bit of our armor, but we're okay. Also, I think we could have shot at some of those other things with the ink zooka, but also, probably don't need to. <coughs> oh, I'm not good with heights. Neither am I, but I, I'm okay with it in video games, so. Grab all that. Probably activate that if I need it. Even though I probably don't. Okay. Just be careful here. I said careful here, but anyway. That worked. Cool. Before I got the sea scrolls, we don't need to worry about anything else. So let's just keep moving forward. Or backward, with depending on the stuff that's active around us. Okay, just stay safe. Ooh, stay safe. Zapfish is right there. Just need to get across all this. Somehow, which is probably just going to be sitting on here for a little bit. Cool, hang on. Okay, just need to go up with this now. And we are done here. Just like that. Why are we here? For what purpose do we exist? We must not dwell on these questions. We can merely trust in the will of the universe and spend our days and nights in harmony with the world. Celebrating this festival called life. Okay. Next up, number 25. Nice going, nice going. Now, what's up next? It is Far Flung Flutters. Oh, that's what they're called, aren't they? Mindless Machine Menace. <coughs> Just dying because I'm ruining my throat, apparently. It's fine. Ah, Flutters, I hate those things. Look at the gamepad, Agent 3. Can you see a key anywhere nearby? Uh, I can actually, apparently. I should probably be using that more than I am. But there is also a flutter up this way, so we need to be extra careful grabbing that. Goodbye. Goodbye. Got it. Getting out. Oh, where am I taking this? Over here. Okay. Glad that worked out as well as it did. And now we're up on the second level of this area, which is cool. They're riding flutters? I died. I guess this is a stronger... Whatever thing they're called. I can't remember. I really should remember what these things are called. The Octo Troopers. Yeah, there's, there's, there's better ones than them. Of them. Okay, I'm glad I make that jump. Let's make another one. Cool, good. I'm glad I'm making these jumps because they're probably a lot harder than they look. Okay, where's the key? Another vault, but there, where's the key? Maybe the gamepad would tell us something. They really rely you on you using the gamepad for this. Oh boy. I'm gonna just get out of here. <laughs> that was nearly bad. I mean, it was pretty bad, so... Can't go up that way. I can just go up this way, though. Okay, the key. Ooh. Ooh. The key's on the far side by the looks of it, but I don't know how to get up to where it is. Oh, wow. It might also just be hidden more than anything else. We'll buy in the, in the stuff. Ooh, hello. No, oh, this is not good. I'm gonna get out of here. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. I probably shouldn't use those seekers as much to get through here. It is helpful, but it's just not the way I should be doing this. Oh, there it is. It was just out of reach on my map, so I couldn't really see it. Just play this safe, as safe as I can. 
Oh boy. Just gonna come through the middle here. Goodbye. Oh, hello. Goodbye. There's a lot of things around here. Okay, there we go. Ah, falling. Falling, 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 falling. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now I'm up to the up, 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 upper level. And there's an Octo Sniper at the other end, so we're gonna need to be careful of that. Door isol uh, located towards the back. So we need to get a key. Key. Oops, you fell. Better head back to the gusher. Yep. Yep. Well, that's gonna be annoying to miss jumps then. Let me just take this out quickly. And there's the key. There's some armor. Try and get that in a second. It's trying to get away from me, so. Got it. I could get some more armor, but I don't think it's gonna give me more fish eggs, so I'm just gonna get out of here. Also, I didn't find the uh, sea scroll. Cool. It was probably right at the end and I just missed it, probably. It's fine. So I'm gonna go head back into that and get that then. I was watching you back- watching back there. You were working pretty hard, huh? Oh, hang on. I see that now. So at the end of the first section, if we go to the end and then fall off the back, it has this tel- this, this jumping thing. And it takes us to over here, which is where the scroll is. Okay, now we just need to get out of here. Should be simple enough. Just gonna also grab some of these. Anyway, I'm gonna get to the end now. We can't- I don't think we can exit the level. Also, this is a level that's actually a lot shorter than I thought it was. Oh. They're turning around. Ah, it's fine. This is not fine. Hello, goodbye. Okay, so now that we're at the end... Also, I think we skipped an area because... No, that was... Oh, I didn't get all those eggs. It's fine. We're at the end now. This is the... This is what the... The not zapfish look like. With a little captain's hat. Pet, 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 pet. Or possibly a whack, 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 whack. You know, whack. Just whacking them. All of them. But there we go. Though academic circles warn, warn of rising sea levels, the policy makers pay them no heed. At this rate, human civilization may end up buried beneath the waves. Will even this furry fellow be consumed by the raging ocean? So this is the scientist, I believe, with his pet Judd, who was put into the capsule and reopened after the apocalypse, basically. Anyway, let's go to level 26. We're almost done. We have two more zapfish left. Octoling Onslaught. Rumble at the rig. Let me just quickly check the power up. I would like to get the rate of fire with the hero shot, but that's probably not going to happen very soon. Unless we get it at the very end, but that's probably going to be it, so. Okay. They could spring from anywhere, Agent 3. And these are the strong ones. Octolings, over to you, Agent 3. Also, this 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 level is only in Splashing 1, so not, and not Splashing 2, so... I, I, re, 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 I specifically remember this one not being in Splatoon 2. Salt Spray Rig, I believe it's called. Review, and so you can let him have it. If I want to. But I'm busy on our different quest, currently, with getting... Fish Eggs. Okay, get some armor. I could go the other way, but I guess I can go in this way. I need to check everywhere to make sure I get the... the thing. In these, the multiplayer-based levels, like, levels based on the multiplayer, you can generally go anywhere at any time, so you don't have to worry about missing something. You can always go back for it. Let's go up here, though, because this is probably where... something? Maybe? There's something over there, so let me go over that way. Let me get you, please. Thank you. Ah. Okay, so over here. 
is the sea scroll. So there we go. We don't have to worry about anything anymore. Pretty much. Get rid of you, though. We can go back this way. So we should probably go the other way now. Or possibly just go up more than I was going before. You know, just exploring. Kept taking the scenic route. Do that a lot. Anyway. Get rid of you. I think we can go straight up here, actually. Just because we can paint so many things. I kind of like the the layout of this level just because of that. Don't let them corner you. I feel like this is one of the, uh, like this was an all right map, so it's surprising it didn't come back. There were probably a few problems with it, but you know the the the, the fact that you can just go from anywhere into it just, just works fine for me. So I'm just gonna check that I'm not missing anything. I'm probably not, but I'm being cautious. I want the fish eggs. We, are, we have 900, so. Final checkpoint. Might as well use this. Oh, bad, bad, bad. It's fine. I think we're good now. Possibly. I don't think there's any of them left, unless I'm wrong. So let's just go up to the end. If I can, please. Thank you. I missed. I don't have enough ink. There we go. Perfect. So perfect, you know? It's fine. A 12,000 year old fossil of a creature with an odd internal skeleton. Its small skull indicates the creature's... The creature was likely primitive with little intelligence. This specimen appears to be have been fossilized in the middle of some kind of ritual. Hmm. <laughs> playing playing on their Wii U. With all that look look at that controller set up there. Oh my goodness. Anyway. That's that. So let's go on to the last level. Good job, good job. Keep, let's keep up the pace and do this. Unavoidable flying object. UFO for short. Skate Park Showdown. Okay, so let's get started. Another Octo Striker. Octo Snipers 2, keep your head down if you don't want to lose it. Fair enough. Just gonna go this way a little bit, I guess. Need to find the thing somewhere. Gonna destroy anything I can without dying. Ooh, hello. I need to be careful of that thing. Everywhere. We can't take out the Octo Striker and then do everything else. We have to do everything else and then the Octo Striker. There's the key, now get to the vault. Oh, I will. Oh, but I'm not also gonna try to not die. It's a good thing that they can't interact with the balloons, so. Because if they could, there would be trouble. Okay, there's a sea scroll and also a shield, a bubbler. Gotta be careful. Shoot you. Can also break that, get some more armor. Can run away. Oh, nope. Gonna try and shoot this thing out there. See how that goes. Good. <clears throat> Very good. I got spotted again, so I'm gonna need to be careful. In a second. Maybe. Hang on. Can this go all the way where it needs to go? Kind of. If I do a bit more, maybe? Yes. Cool. Okay, so let's go up here and get... the... sea scroll. Like that. Get out of here. Now let's go to the Octo Striker. It's so bright here. Also, there's fireworks, which is cool. I think it's using some of the. Yeah, there's the fireworks. Okay. Not crazy. I like the nighttime look for the levels. But there we go. Try not to die. Try not to die. And there we go. I think all of the enemies 
explode after we take out the Octo Striker. But there we go, the last Zapfish. Oh, my beloved Judd. It seems the day has finally come. This capsule is designed to remain cryogenically sealed for 10,000 years. Goodbye, my perfect little kitty cat. May the future be kind to you. These are real tears. And it's got the cat, the cat treats, like the cat, yeah, things on the side. Oh. Anyway. The boss castle has opened up, and it's in a special spot. You got all the little guys, just the great zapfish to go. So let's go into this thing here, and go up. Because the boss castle is in the coolest place it could possibly be, of course. Because, of course, everything from this point on is going to be cool. At the very end of the game. I mean, the whole game is cool, but also this is really cool. Really, really cool. The final boss kettle is on the UFO that flies around. Now, let's power up our weapon. Just a little bit. I really wish I had done more than this, but this is this is as good as it gets, I guess. Let's go. Let's finish this. Enter the Octobot King. We can see the Incopolis in the background as well. Hmm? Agent 3! It's a trap! Don't approach! I told you so. I can't believe you even bothered to show up. I will take back what's mine. So this is DJ Octavio, I believe. For some reason I always get confused with King Caliente from Super Mario Galaxy, but we need to basically just block his attacks and try to repel his fists back at, back, at, back at him. And this is really cool. Splatoon is very well known, in my opinion, for its really cool final bosses. And this one is just amazing. It's incredible. I need to not die, please. No, I can't shoot that back after it's hit the ground. Okay. So I need to get that before it hits the ground. Probably want to switch to uh, splat, uh, splat Bombs. Just need to keep pushing him back. We can't get too close to him, otherwise we'll get bounced back because he's got a barrier. So we all need to be careful. Are you ready for this? Shooting a bomb at us. We need to shoot it back at him if we can. Just like that. And play a little bit of tennis. Also, there's gigantic tentacles sw spinning around us, which is really cool. This this area is just so cool. But there we go. Gah! Impudence. Uh, ink squirt. Let's go to the next area. Let him have it. There is also an... A uh, watch out, Agent 3. He's packing a mean laser... Oh, oh. Killer whale. <sighs> he can use killer whale. Also, there is a sunken sea scroll in this level that we need to get before we get to the end, which should be on the path forward, but we just need to remember to get it. Basically. Just needed to know that it exists. This is probably one of the harder bosses that you'll ever fight in Splatoon, so be ready for it. Because he has so many attacks that just shoot everywhere. It's a bullet hell, basically, in Splatoon. But there's the sea scroll in that box. Oh, fist. Probably should have been paying more attention, but I was trying to get the scroll. 
I was a bit focused on that. Okay, he's pushed up there, but I'm going to hold back a second. Oh, kill a whale. Try and shoot these things down. Shoot those fists back at him. And let's go up. Okay, here we go. Dodge the killer whale. Keep destroying these bullets. Eat this! Have to dodge everything at the same time as knocking this back at him. Oh, hang on. Careful. I like the tentacles coming out of its the bomb as well. Oh, he's shooting it. He's like hitting it back with the fist. That's actually really cool. I've not noticed that. Blarg! Go, my minions! And now... Okay, it's on now. He's got something up his sleeve. Agent 3. Now, he can also spawn in... Minions for himself. From his attacks. So we need to definitely stop his attacks now. Let's grab some more armor. Also, the, listen to the music, because it's also really epic. Oh, those spawn in enemies, so we need to take those out. Dodge that. Try and grab this. Inksuka. It's not going to do much for us right now, but also... It'll be useful. Once we get further forward. Try and activate these. Bro stop him from spawning and stuff. Kill a whale. Just going to try and move forward a little bit. If possible. Okay, here comes the fist. Send him way back. Well, let's push forward. Okay, some more armor. I'm gonna grab that. I'll make squid soup out of you. Oh, block those. Nope, he spawned one. And here comes the thing I need to take out. So let's throw it back, please. Oh, bad. I think I missed it completely. So we have to wait another round. Okay, just need to be very extra careful. Use as much space as I need. Okay, send it back. More enemies. Kill the whale. So many things. Send it back, please. Nope, did not have enough ink. I should probably try and use my ink zooka for this. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Please shoot it back. Thank you. Try and uh, hold as much ink as possible for his main things. Shoot that back. Very nice. Okay. Grr. Who do you think you are? Go ahead, Agent 3. Go, go, go. Go, oh, go, go Agent 3, go, go. Agent 3. Spread as much ink as you can. Blast those ox... Pedos... I don't even know. Just stop everything. There's also some ink visible platforms here. Oh, he's moving back. I probably should keep pushing him back as much as possible. Oh boy. He's shooting a lot more bullets now. So that's not good. Come on. Oh, he's shooting a lot more bullets. Okay. Fist. One. Two. Let's push forward. I just want to grab this, probably. Extra armor. More invisible platforms. Oh, spawning in enemies. Try and knock them off the edge. Just to deal with it. Very nice. Fist number one. Number two. And let's push forward. Got some gushes. I'm gonna try and ink some more area. Oh, really? Oh, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay. Give me something to work with here. He's going all out. This is such a cool final boss, though. Being able to push him back so far. It, it's such a long boss as well. Okay, where's the platform? There it is. Gonna need that after I take these out. Very nice. Thank you. Fist number one. Running out of ink. Need to hold on to that as much as possible. I probably should have upgraded that more before getting to this point. But it's fine. 
Okay, we're up really close to him right now, so we probably want to be too, a bit more careful how close we are. Just cover more ground. We'll be good. Okay. Number one. Two. Push forward. Not too close, though. We have this platform here, so let's use it. Although he's probably going to use... I'll make fried squid rings out of you. Okay. Probably not want to be avoiding his killer whale, though, as much as possible in this area. It's a very small area to have a killer whale. So... Oh, it's got glasses on it. Why does that have glasses on it? <laughs> like, it's got glasses on it. Gah! I'll get you for that. What's this? This song? Agent Kent 3 can hear our song. You've got it upside down. Huh? What's this? That heavenly melody is the one and only Squid Sisters. Don't you ever worry your granddaughters like that again. Agent 3, take care of Gramps for us, okay? Final push, charge. We're up to the final checkpoint. And now we have to go all out with this amazing music in a very tough part of the fight. So here we go. Try to hold up as much. As I say, sometimes the best offense is running for your life. I agree with this for this. So we need to be very careful. We have not much space to work with here. And we need to take the, make the most of it. Kill a whale. We also don't want to get too close to him, otherwise we'll be pushed back some more. This song is amazing. I listened to it so much the first time I heard it. Just so much. Possibly too much, but it was so good. <laughs> and it still is so good. And it adds so much to this fight. Fight. Oh, Bubbler. I'll grab that in a minute. Possibly. Oh, I just want to be careful. With my ink consumption, and I do want to use this current, my current special that I have on me. So let's use it. Like that. Get the bubbler. Please. I can't use it while I get it. Well, okay. That's fine. Let's activate that. I think I, he came further forward because I wasn't pushing. But it's fine. So fine. We have that rail now. This is such a cool boss fight. <laughs> so cool. It's amazing. This is the reason that I wanted to play this game again. Was just for this boss fight, basically. It's the reason I'm playing it right now, it's for this boss fight. I'll push forward a little bit. There's not much space though, so I need to be careful. Okay, fist number one. Number two, we're almost at the end. Going up to the middle. We also need to be careful of the killer whale though. Just a little further, Agent 3. There's a killer whale. Staying in the middle is probably the best way to go because that way you can move to the sides. Okay, number one. Number two. And it looks like we're at the end. Here we go. Time to put an end to you. Oh boy. Just gonna activate this in case. I need it. One more, possibly. There we go. Now, strike the finishing blow. Oh no, vanquished. So sad. Back on the title screen. Nobody's here this late, but we have a news flash. What, what, what? What's going on about, what going on at this hour? The great Zapfish is back on Incopolis Tower. 
Whoa, really? That's a shocker. Get it? <laughs> a shocker? Where could it have been? I guess we'll never know. Well, is this back now? Sure, sure, you don't know what's going on. I know where you- I know your secrets. I could expose you right now. Ah, happy ending! Wanna blast one more song? At this time of the night? Ah, oh, why not? So that is Splatoon in the adventure mode. I really- it's- it's- it's so good. <laughs> Even if it is fairly short. It's- it's- it- I enjoy it a lot. We can also shoot on the screen for the credits. I'm gonna try and paint as much of this as possible. We can also right press right the right button to shoot bombs, so that's probably the easy way to shoot all of this, but also it's satisfying to just use the regular shots, so I'm gonna try and do this. If I miss anything, I'm sorry. It's hard to keep 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 up with everything. I really hope that eventually we get like an ultimate Splatoon game. And like all of the story modes or different versions of multiplayer are uh, just put in as DLC basically, so you can just have it basically in all the different versions. I really wish that though eShop was also cross compatible with older eShops as well. But I just think it'd be cool if Nintendo made a way for Splatoon to be free to play for people who have Nintendo Switch Online. I mean, you. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't really work, is the thing. But, like, if you just had the adventure mode be separate. Or something. Just... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how it'd work, but... I just think... Nintendo Switch Online players are already paying for Nintendo Switch Online. And they could make it... Just available. In some way. I'm sure. But, anyway. These credits are also really cool that we just get to paint this with rainbow ink, basically. And also the, the different colored ink using our splat bombs is like an opposite color of whatever is on with our regular shot ink, so... I really hope they add the, like, the first game's, like, adventure modes as DLC so you can just play them for people who missed them. Although cross compatibility with just games in general would be nice. But it's doubtful, so. Splatoon is just an instant classic. Thank you for playing. Hero suit replica acquired. Try it in online battles. So for completing adventure mode, we get the gear that we have in Octo Valley to use in the multiplayer. Octo suit acquired. Try it out in online battles. More stuff that we unlock by playing the adventure mode. So there we go. And not to mention, hang on, you <laughs> have to go through all this again. Except it's just regular battles and stages and all that. I just saw the raddest car! I want to take it for a drive! Didn't you just fail your driving test last week? They often film sci-fi or fantasy movies here. The place definitely has a cool atmosphere. Making wise use of the corridors here is criti uh, cr crucial. I feel bad for the people who aren't- who are trying to work. <laughs> Mari, what advice do you have for this stage? Uh, uh, sorry, did you say something? <laughs> That's fair. Stay fresh. But I want to go back to Octo Valley because there's one thing that we haven't checked yet. Which, uh, there's actually a few things, I guess. Ah, Agent 3, I've been waiting for you. Thanks to you, the piece has returned to Inkopolis. Not that anyone will be thank thanking us for it, but that's how heroes... Ah, unappreciated in their lifetime. Hmm, this fellow. Why, this is none other than DJ Octavio. I think I let him rest here I'll let him rest here for a while. He's been through a lot. Grr, cuttlefish. I'm hungry. Oh ho ho. 
Agent 3, that gleam in your eyes seems to even stronger now. You have my eternal gratitude. He's got the bamboo boozler. Also, we can watch the credits again if you want to, apparently. Hmm, what's this? Oh, I'm sure it doesn't matter. <laughs> wow, so rude. It does matter. It matters a lot. Just gotta paint it all like that. That way I have it all. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is us being able to watch the credits again. I'm probably. Ah, I went into it. No. We can skip it, luckily. But I think possibly if it's like Splatoon 2, I haven't checked this. If you skip it, you possibly don't get the rewards, but you have you can probably watch it again for the rewards. I don't know. But yes, Octavio is here now. I'm so glad that I got the completed adventure mode so quick because now I just have that saved, basically. But I don't have all the levels that I had previously in the multiplayer, but I'm probably not going to worry about that as much. But yes, Cuttlefish is back. We need to keep the theft of the Zapfish a secret, okay? The wind is blowing. <laughs> okay. I ain't just the freshest fella you ever saw. With DJ Octavio here, the Zapfish won't be stolen again. We need to keep the theft of the- okay. But yes, we think all the upgrades as well, which would be nice to have those. But I don't, I don't know if you get any extra rewards for it, and I don't think it would matter anyway, if we did, so... But yeah. The other thing that I want to check is the Sunken Scrolls, because... I'm pretty sure... The last one we get is for... The weapons here, yeah. Because there's only five bosses. So we get another one... For, for, from Sheldon. And also, if we go back to... Uh, get, no, hang on. No, no, go back. Just want to go back to the first beginning. So, you can see in the bottom right corner is this little drawn character. And if we watch that through, it actually just animates throughout all these pages, turning into Judd. And then turning into Sheldon, which would make sense for the page that he's on. But yes, we can also flick through it faster by just tapping on the gamepad to do it like that. So there we go. But that is uh, Splatoon, basically, for what I'm going to go into it, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.